Well, it's cold outside, but in Charlene's kitchen, we're going to make ourselves a hot little spicy burrito. With my uh, leftover pot roast that I made, uh, I'm going to make uh, some burritos. And so here I've cut up the meat real fine, put some salsa up at the top, a little rice and some beans. And here we have all the goodies that we put uh, alongside our burrito. Uh, some nice Mexican style cheese, a guacamole with a lime, a little onion, lettuce with sour cream. And uh, here we go. Here's our burrito. We're gonna put that in a nice hot pan and get it going. I sprayed this uh, nice skillet with uh, a little pam. Uh, it's a olive oil um, pam that uh, you can get. Uh, and uh, so just get that nice and hot. And we're gonna put our uh, little tortilla in that pan and get it warmed up. And then we're going to add all these goodies that we have set up for ourselves. So you kind of bring everything out and, and you know, uh, the pot roast meat is so good. That's, uh, that was a chuck roast. Uh, and you can uh, uh, get a brisket. You can make it with that too. It's just a dandy meal uh, from the usual, uh, you know, meat and potatoes type of thing. Now I want to get this just a little bit hot. I'm going to start adding. Uh, the first thing that I put on my burrito is I put the cheese like that. See, and I stay on one side because that's when how I'm going to build this. Now uh, the cheese has a stick to itiveness, so that's why we put that first. All right, so now I'm going to add a little uh, some beans refried beans I just take uh, kidney beans or or black beans and I just put them in my blender okay and now I'm gonna add a little rice on the top of that it's easy to make when you have it all ready okay so let's see if we can zoom in on this any closer okay so now I'm gonna add my meat the pot roast that I cooked up. And I put a little, um, oh, that looks, that looks so good. Okay, there's my pot roast on there. I'm gonna put a couple of onions on the top. And again, this is something that I like. Maybe, uh, let's see, a little more cheese on the top of that. I wanna do piece of I'm just going to add a little more cheese. Maybe this will do it here, what I have on this plate. Just a little more cheese on there. I'm going to leave the lettuce on the side. I'm going to have to open another package here. Or should I maybe I should just let it go? I can't. Here we go. So we're going to get that up on the top all right so now we're gonna take that top of that tortilla and first of all this will be the bottom I'm gonna bring this over I'm gonna bring this over and it's pretty hot right now wait a second I'm gonna bring it over let's just push that over just a little bit more so we can make a, and you fold the, the bottom, you fold the bottom first, okay? So that when you hold it, you know, it, it doesn't leak. All right, so here we bring it on the top like that. And there is our little burrito. Let's, wait, I've got this, got to get this up here. In fact, I'm going to turn that off at the bottom. And just bring that up. Just bring that up. All right. I'm going to just lift that burrito up from my frying pan here and put it on the side. And look what I have for myself. Oh, mercy, mercy. And here's my salsa. Let's get a picture of that. 
There's my burrito, just oozing good with cheese and beans and rice and that wonderful pot roast. And we've got our guacamole, our salsa, our little uh, lettuce that's uh, just, you know, you want to slice it real thin with some sour cream on the top and give it a squirt of that lime. What a wonderful meal. Do I dare try to bite into this burrito? <laughs> Why not, right? I'm going to give it a try. How about that? Mmm. Oh, look at that. That is so wonderful. And we have some avocado here. Let's look at this. A little avocado. Mm. Some salsa. A little lettuce with some sour cream. It's just delightful. Here we go. I hope you try my recipe.